Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So in this video, I will uh, explain to you on how to use limiting reactant to determine the amount of product form and amount of excess reactant remain after reaction complete. Okay. So actually, in the previous video, I have explained to you on how to determine the limiting reactant to compare both reactant to decide which one is the limiting reactant. So in this video, I will explain how we use this limiting reactant to uh, determine the amount of product form and second to determine the uh, amount of unused reactant at the end of the reaction. So, for example, in this equation, a 10 gram of hydrochloric acid was react with 10 gram of calcium carbonate to produce carbon dioxide gas. If calcium carbonate is the limiting reactant, so calculate A, the mass of carbon dioxide gas produced and B, the mass of unused reactant. So, we write the balance equation first. So, in this reaction, the balance equation is 2 HCl. We react with 1 calcium carbonate to produce 1 calcium chloride, 1 carbon dioxide and 1 water. So, we will use this LR table. You have uh, seen this table in the previous video. So, right now, the species that we compare is the limiting reactant itself, the calcium carbonate, the HCl, uh, which is the excess reactant, and the product that we need to calculate, which is carbon dioxide. Okay, first, we fill the stoichiometric coefficient for each species that we want to compare. The calcium carbonate is 1 from the balance equation. Eh? And then for HCl is 2, for carbon dioxide is 1. So, more given in the equation is uh, for calcium carbonate is 0 0.0999 more. And then mole HCl given is 0 0.274 mole. But there is no carbon dioxide at the beginning of the reaction. So kita tak kosong lah sebab tak ada kan. Okay so we look at the, how are the more reacted and more produced. So for, uh, for this uh, uh, example uh, for this species, the one that is reacted is only calcium carbonate known as Cl because uh, that is the species of that is the reacting species, and then for the mole of produce is for carbon dioxide because in this reaction we are producing carbon dioxide, so the mole produce is for carbon dioxide, more reacted is for uh, more calcium carbonate and more HCl. So in this reaction, we know that the limiting return will completely consume means that all of 0 0.099 mole of calcium carbonate will be used in this reaction. So, we put minus 0 0.0999 mole. Why minus here? Because our calcium carbonate is being used up means, it means that the amount will be decrease okay and then uh, uh, how about hcl how many mole hcl react with 0 0.099 mole calcium carbonate so we calculate using this mole ratio so mole hcl react divided by mole calcium carbonate react equals to the stoichiometric coefficient. So, stoichiometric coefficient for HCl is 2 divided by stoichiometric coefficient of calcium carbonate which is 1. So, more HCl react is equals to we rearrange the formula times with mole of calcium carbonate react. So, you will get 1998 mole. So, we write minus 0 0.1998 mole. 
because the number of HCL during duration will decrease because the HCL is the factor. It will be used up in the uh, reaction. So how about mole of uh, CO2? So mole of CO2 produced, okay, we write mole CO2 produced is equals to a divided by mole CaCO2 CO3 react. So we use the stoichiometric coefficient of both. So since that the stoichiometric coefficient is same, so means that mole of CO2 produced is same as mole of Calcium carbonate react which is 0 0.0999 So right now we will put plus here because in the reaction our carbon dioxide will be produced. The number, the amount of carbon dioxide will produce means that the num the amount of carbon dioxide will increase. So plus 0 0.0999 mole. Okay, and then. We calculate the mole or mole after reaction complete for calcium carbonate. It, it is zero mole because 0 0.0999 minus 0 0.9999 equals to zero. And then for HCl, 0 0.274 minus 0 0.1998 mole equals to 0 0.0742 mole. And then the, the mole uh, of CO2 after duration complete is 0.0999 mole. So right now we can calculate the question A which is mass of carbon dioxide produced. So mass of CO2 produced is 0. 0 0.999 mole times with okay because of this is mass so unit mass at the above so one mole window so mass of one mole carbon dioxide is 44 gram so we cancel the unit mole so we will get 4.40 grams. So this is the mass of carbon dioxide produced. How about for uh, question B? In the question B, it asks us to calculate mole of excess reactant remain after the reaction complete. So this one, right? So mole of HCl after reaction complete is 0 0.0742 mole. So means that mass of the excess rated HCl is 0 0.0742 mole times with one mole here. So we can cancel the unit of mole. So one mole HCl is 36.5 gram. So, we will get the answer is 2.71 gram. So, this is your answer. Okay, that is example 1. Okay, how about example 2? Okay, a solution containing 1.125 gram of H2SO4 is added to a beaker containing 3.2 gram of a uh, 3 gram sample of sodium hydroxide. If sulfuric acid is the limiting reactant, okay, calculate the mass of sodium sulfate form and the mass of unused reactant. Okay, so we will use the same table. So for the species that we are comparing right now is the sulfuric acid. Uh, which is the limiting reactor, the sodium hydroxide, which is our excess reactor, and sodium sulfate, which is the product that we want to calculate. So from the uh, balance equation, the stoichiometric coefficient for H2SO4 is 1, for sodium hydroxide is 2, for sodium sulfate is one. So, so right, right now, the mole given in the equation for sulfuric acid is 0 0.0115 mole. For sodium hydroxide is 0 0.08 mole. 
and post sodium sulfate there is no sodium sulfate at the beginning of the reaction because that is the product so no sodium sulfate uh, uh, form okay at the beginning of the uh, operation so more uh, H2SO4 reacts since that our H2SO4 is the limiting reactant so all of the limiting reactant will completely consume Okay, and then mole of sodium hydroxide react will depend on how many uh, mole of sulfuric acid consumed. So, we determine the mole of sodium hydroxide react using the mole of sulfuric acid consumed. Okay, so we compare the... Uh, uh, stoichiometric coefficient sodium hydroxide is 2 for sulfuric acid is 1 so means that mole of sodium hydroxide is we rearrange the formula times with mole sodium mole sulfuric acid 0.0115 mole so we will get 0.023 mole Okay, so minus 0 0.023 mole. Okay, so how about sodium sulfate? How many sodium sulfate form? So more sodium sulfate produced. Okay, we are comparing it with uh, the limiting reactant. So H2SO4 react. So the uh, stoichiometric coefficient is 1 1. So, means that mole of sodium sulfate produce is same as mole of so mole of sulfuric acid react which is 0.0115 mole. So, we put, we put plus 0.0115 mole. So, we calculate the mole of uh, each species after the reaction complete. So, for H2SO4, there is no H2SO4, 0 mole. And then for sodium hydroxide, 0 0.08 minus 0 0.023, 0 0.057 mole. And then for sodium sulfate, 0 plus 0 0.0115, so 0 0.0115 mole. Okay. So, after completing this table, we can calculate the mass of sodium sulfate produced and the mass of sodium hydroxide after reaction complete. Okay, the unused sodium hydroxide uh, after reaction complete. So, question A, mass of sodium sulfate produced is equal to 0 0.0115 mole times with okay, 142.1 gram. So, you will get mass of sodium sulfate 1.63 gram. Okay. And then B, mass of unused reactant. Mass of unused reactant. So, so means that mass of uh, the HCl, the sodium hydroxide. Nah. So, so 0 0.057 mole times with 40 gram divided by 1 mole. So you will get 2.28 gram. So this is your answer. Okay, so this is the exercise that I want you to try. So I have compound E is prepared by reacting compound A and D. So in one process, 2 mole of A, we have 9 mole of D. So determine the limiting return that I teach you to, uh, that I have teach you in the uh, first part video. And then B and C, calculate number of mole of compound E form and how many mole of excess reactor left after the reaction complete. That one uh, I have uh, show you in this video. So I hope that this video will help you to answer the question. So Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.